Uh, it is unfortunate that uh, Nyakan and some two people uh, they have been, you know, battling it out with the with the Chambade and the Mr. Tantege doctor, uh, and we have been against this kind of of, of attitude. The former Uganda Amateur Boxing Federation President Geoffrey Nyakana dragged former UABF executive led by Roger Dung the High Court on May 31st, 2010, demanding for blocking him from interfering with the then UABF existing executive and eventually lost the case. After losing the case, the court ordered Nyakana and his former executive to clear the damages to David Chamba and Teke Sengendo, which they have dodged till an arrest warrant has been issued this morning. I asked the Chamba. I called Chambade to ask him, did you ever see a resolution of UABF saying these were the minutes and we resolved to go to court over your case? He says, no, they never filed this. When the former UABF president, Roger Dong, stepped down after being challenged by the opposing boxing fraternity, David Chambade and Teke Sengendo used the clauses in the constitution to remain in power, though not at the headquarters. For Chikungwe, who had joined Nyakana in the next general assembly, when the heat in the amateur boxing circles continued, he pulled out silently. He's now not amused by arrest warrant slapped on him this morning, claiming that he has never been a part of the Nyakana group that went the course of law. So, uh, what is going to happen is, I have no choice but to take the lawyer to the law council to explain where he got the instructions. Amateur boxing fraternity has suffered a setback ever since wrangles in the administration began, and this saw Uganda failing to send a team to the London Olympics as no single boxer qualified. Currently, Uganda Amateur Boxing Federation is waiting for the International Amateur Boxing Body, AIBA, to clear their constitution before fresh elections are conducted next year. James Manja, the best TV, Kampala.